Today, we'll show you five shooting techniques you can use to score more goals in real games. You're watching All Attack. The Lob To lob a goalkeeper, stick your toes underneath the edge of the ball. Then lift up. In a game situation, what matters is the angle you lift the ball at. If you lift at an angle that's too flat, the goalkeeper will save it. If you lift at an angle that's too high, it won't make it to the goal on the other side. What you want is an angle that's just high enough to get over the goalkeeper, but flat enough that it will get to the goal before defenders can get back and defend. The lob technique is most useful when a goalkeeper rushes out to stop you. When this happens, there's enough space for the ball to lift over the goalkeeper and drop into the goal on the other side. Outside Curve Use the outside top of your foot. Then strike through the side of the ball. Place your plant foot at least six inches away from the ball. This will give you enough space to swing your shooting foot through the ball without hitting your other leg. This technique is helpful if you want to curve the ball, but don't have time to switch the ball to your other foot. Also, it's often used by players who are not so good with their weak foot. Power Shot When shooting, turn your foot. This will allow you to strike the ball with your laces. Hit the center of the ball, with your foot following through toward the target. The power shot technique is especially helpful from longer distances. When you're farther out, you're likely to need more power to beat the goalkeeper. Curve shot. Use the area between the inside of your foot and your laces to strike. Use that area to strike low along the edge of the ball. This will create side spin, which will make your shot curve in the air. Shooting with curve is a great technique if you're around the edge of the penalty area. When you become good at it, you'll be able to curve the ball around defenders and into the side netting. Inside of foot. Point your plant foot toward where you want to shoot. Then use the inside of your foot to pass the ball into the net. You don't always have to use a fancy shooting technique. So whether you're placing the ball in the corner or scoring off a cross, Sometimes the best choice is to simply pass the ball into the back of the net. All right, everybody, make sure to leave a like, make sure to subscribe, and make sure to leave a comment about what you want to see next.